Pressure continues to build across Europe and across the world to grapple with the growing refugee crisis. Today, hundreds of people at a refugee camp on the Hungary-Serbia border broke free, many after waiting overnight in the cold for transport that never came. It is these traumatic scenes of desperation unfolding across the continent that are putting increasing pressure on European governments to take in more people fleeing violence in the Middle East. Meanwhile, the White House reiterated today it is actively looking at ways to deal with the refugee crisis while refusing to give any specifics. Presidential candidates, Democrat and Republican, are, for the most part, following suit. Marco Rubio, John Kasich, Chris Christie, Lindsey Graham, and Hillary Clinton have all, over the past few days, said the U.S. should do more to help without getting into specifics. Ben Carson today took a similar stance when asked as Ted Cruz, who said the U.S. should not take refugees, but, quote, address the cause of this crisis. And Scott Walker, in perhaps the most cowardly response yet, simply refused to answer the question at all. We have reached out to almost two dozen presidential campaigns to ask what they think that number should be. So far, a grand total of one candidate has gone on the record with a specific number. Martin O'Malley said last week the U.S. should let in 65,000 Syrian refugees by the end of next year. We will continue asking the other candidates what their number is because as we watch human suffering on an almost unimaginable scale unfold across the Middle East and Europe, hemming and hawing is not enough.